What is going on, everybody? This is the Bleeding Burgundy Podcast. It is Tuesday, March 23rd. This is episode number uh, 11, I think. Yeah. Yep. I am your host, Jesse Martin. I am uh, with my trusty co pilot, the former Washington football troll, now turned rah rah fan of the Washington football team, Keith Gray. Keith, what's going on, my man? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> See, it's it's a marriage right now, man. Yeah. It's a marriage right now. Actually, it's a honeymoon. It's a honeymoon. <laughs> but when they get out there on that field and they start stinking shit up, yeah, that <laughs> troll's gonna come right back out. But right now, I'll I'll hold hands. I'll kiss them on the cheek right now and be like, mm, "You did good today, guys. Nice free agent <laughs> sign." Mm-hmm. But the minute they start losing, I'm gonna be fucking everybody up. I hear that. <laughs> Hey, but I'm doing good. No, he will. You are doing really good, man. I'm proud of you. I really am proud of you. But I think a lot of us miss the old tweet, uh, uh, Keith, uh, uh, a little bit. So you might need to start mixing that back in. Well, when we start losing, you'll see that happening. Don't worry. I told you, if we start winning, I'll shut the fuck up. (laughs) (laughs) But if we start losing, that's a different story. We have a special guest with us today. Everybody knows him on Twitter. Wale. From the urban sports scene, a podcast and the all burgundy and gold, everything. What's going on, my man? How you doing? I'm good. I like the way you said it. I like the way you said it. You made me kind of happy the way you said everything. I love it. I love it. Everything. You said everything. You got some. You put some twang on it. Got to put, you put some, some twang, twang on, on it. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Everything is good. I'm like my man Keith. I could be a troller too every once in a while. If you get me on a good day, I could be a really good tro- troller when it comes to this football team. But I'm like him. I'm on. I'm, we're in a honeymoon phase, right? Yeah, yeah. They made man. some signings that we're all a little amped up about. So I'm cool with it for now. I'm cool with it for now. That's yep. good. That's <laughs> it. And let, let's start there. I want to get uh, your. Uh, me and Keith have, have talked about it on the past couple of episodes, but mm-hmm. while I want to get your take on uh, the three big signings um, that that Ron Rivera did, uh, Fitzpatrick, mm-hmm. uh, 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 William, and. Um, uh, 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 uh samuels yeah, yeah yeah i got you what do you think of those two collectively william jackson curtis samuel and, and fitzpatrick uh, uh positions of need obviously yeah what do you think of the collective uh first off fitzpatrick I, I like the signing i'm not in love with the sign but signing but it's cool with me i'm not i'm not super amped up about it but i understand the signing and i think it works for this football team i, I kind of laugh at people who are so negative at the signing this guy just came off a good season with the miami dolphins a team that no one thought was going to do anything. Yeah. And he basically, basically, if they didn't bench him, would probably let that team to the postseason. So I was happy with it because I know what having a quarterback like Fitzpatrick rep- helps for, d- does for the young wide receivers. It allows them to make plays. If you ever watch Ryan Fitzpatrick, he allows his wide receivers to make plays. So Scary Terry, who was getting maybe, who probably, who, got a thousand yards can now probably get 1500 yards mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. A, a kid like we all a kid like agg who struggled will now get an opportunity to make big plays because ryan fitzpatrick will give him the opportunity to make a big play he doesn't have to be wide open to, to to make a catch he can make it he will give him a contested opportunity to make a catch so i think that signing alone is good for the young wide receivers um you look at curtis samuel it's a guy that to me to me, he's always been more of a slot guy, so I'm interested to know how they're going to u- utilize him in the passing game because he's not a pro. To t- if you watch him in Ohio State, because I'm a Michigan fan, so I've seen enough of Curtis Samuels yeah. <laughs> for everything. So I know he's more of a ga- he's been more of a gadgety wide receiver anyway. So, but he has such an electric, his electric speed. So you just hope that Scott Turner, that's a guy that I like to troll, if Scott Turner can do enough within this offense with all that speed to utilize Curtis Samuels. I think they, I think it's a home run type of uh, a home run, a home run signing, but I still want them to get a guy from the, on the outside. Yes. A guy. It's either, if you feel like it's going to be somebody in house that you can groom. All right. But I feel like you need somebody on the outside Got to you. still help out scary Terry. Cause Curtis right. Samuels had a decent year last year, but he's still not proven. And then we look at Willie Jackson. It wasn't, He's actually William Jackson. He's not a guy that I could say like off the bat I was really familiar with. But once right. I went back, I think it and goes my a research. lot. A lot yeah. of people say when that I went too, back yeah. and researched it and see who he was locking down and what he was doing, I was like, okay, he may be he may be better than Darby, who had a good season for Washington mm-hmm. last season. So mm-hmm. I think all in all, without breaking the bag or putting the bag out there, this team did a good job signing 
key players. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, William Jackson, to me, I, I remember him one game. It, it was against when we played uh, the Bengals earlier in the year. Mm-hmm. He was pretty much locked on Terry the whole entire game. And he did mm-hmm. a really, really good job. I mean, Ter- Terry got a couple, couple of his, but for the most part, there was no separation uh, in between the two. Yeah. So I, I was bummed out uh, uh, by letting Darby go. I didn't want to pay him $10 million a year. That's yeah. for sure. But we got a guy in here that's going to lock down the the other side of the field. Him and Kendall Fuller, I think they're very high in two uh, cornerback twos. But yeah. I think that's you know, with our defensive line. That's, that's all, you know, I, I think that's all that you need, really. So – Keith, you're going to say something? Yeah, no, I was just going to say uh, that is interesting on Will Jackson. Um, You know, I was actually surprised about the amount of people who did know about him, Mm -hmm. uh, honestly, because when I tweeted out, I tweeted out as, you know, Darby's replacement. And I got several tweets where they put that asterisk and they said, upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Yeah. And so, you know, hey, look, I'm not afraid to learn something. I'm not going to pretend like I know everything there is to know and everybody out there. I'm not a Bengals fan, so I'm not paying attention to, (laughs) you know, the Bengals. Right. So had a lot of those uh, gurus out there that, you know, were, were giving me some information, which was great information. Mm -hmm. And honestly, it got me, you know, pumped up is like, okay, we're adding more pieces to this already good defense, you know, and that's the way that I look at it again, though, we've been through this before, you know, as fans where we sign all these guys that look good you know, on these other teams, but they have to come over here. They have to work this system Mm -hmm. and they have to give production in order for us to be truly satisfied. Cause right now I feel like we're already handing out division trophies to everyone, you know, and uh, I think we need to temper those expectations. I mean, I'm not saying don't be excited about these signings. I'm just saying, let's temper these expectations. Let's see how all of this mixes out on the field. That's all. And to Keith's point, that's how I feel about Curtis Samuel, to be honest with you. That's how I'm like, we've, We've anointed him as a guy that's going to automatically be like an 1,000-yard wide receiver because he can be paired with Scary, you know? And I get he's great. I mean, he's a talent. Don't worry, he's yeah. a talented dude. Do not get it twisted. He's a right. talented dude. But when you look at his career his career numbers, we can't automatically anoint him as that guy sure. right now. You know what right. I mean? Uh, but it is helpful for Scary Terry because you got more speed on the field, and it's a guy that the defense has to account for. But it still has to mesh. And the, yeah. the, the coordinator has to make sure that it works out. Is this a situation where you think now that we, you know, both have Curtis and Terry that uh, we're, you know, defenses are doubling? Are they doubling Terry? So that's going to, you know, uh, get it's, Curtis more? Yeah, I think it should. He should definitely have an opportunity, but it's going to have to be on, again, how do you utilize Curtis? Are, are you utilizing him right correctly? If you put him on the outside where he's going to get exactly. single coverage, then it's like, all right, are you really using, using him in, his, in the best situation now? When Scary's getting doubled, now he's in the slot. If he's in the slot, that's a problem. Right. Like, because then, you know, you can do choice routes. There's so much you can do with him with that speed. And then you'll get matchups where maybe the lineup, linebacker is lined up on him by accident, right? So now he may, have to, he may go by the linebacker and now have, just have the safety. So there's so much you could take advantage of with, with Samuels if you use him correctly. I'm sure Scott Turner is. I mean, I'm not going to be, sure. I'm not going to be uber negative. I'm going to be, I'm sure he will find a way to utilize him but I do think obviously scary Terry is a number one like he's yeah. not like a mm-hmm. BS number one he's a number no, one so folks will is. get doubled I mean he will get doubled that's what was happening last season he was getting towards the end people started paying attention to him and you know the other people had to stand and step up Cam Sims had to step up Sims, so, yeah. you know what I mean so Samuel will get that opportunity it's just how he takes advantage of it got it yeah, no you're absolutely right and, and to to be honest I, I think now uh you know, if, if you're you, Wally, you talked about um, if Scott Turner uses him right now. Yeah. I one thing that I was worried about, um, he had a slow start to his career, and a lot of people were saying that you know mm-hmm. he didn't work well in the Turner offense. Now, this is a different Turner, mm-hmm. Norv and Scott, even though they go by the same playbook. I think Scott, as long as he uses him correctly, uh, it should be fine. Yeah, it should. Well, be. Is this, I, I, go ahead, Keith. Is this what? Well, you know, I, I found it interesting that John Kine, you know, tweeted out that uh, Washington is still 100 percent in for a receiver. They didn't say what type of receiver, but I'm yeah. going to assume for an outside. Yeah. Sure. So I don't know if he's alluding that we're still looking, you know, free agency um, because that, you know, the splash dance is over. 
Yeah. You know, now we're looking at who's still available or are, you know, potentially looking in the, in the draft. But I have to tell you, man, I don't see too many rookie wide receivers that come in on the Washington team, you know, that's excelling. So, you know, I guess year one or or two, there's not that there's a, there's is a a shit ton of slot receivers coming out of this draft. Really, really good ones too. It, it, it depends. It depends where if they get lucky. You know what I mean? Like there's a guy like in, in Bama uh, in the name of uh, and I'm, now I'm having a moment. It's not um, it's my Waddle. Uh, Waddle. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. So drop. Waddle now if Waddle because of the injuries he had to deal with if Waddle drops to 19. That's a guy who plays inside outside like that is he's, he's dynamic. Right. And you know Alabama's resume for, for wide receivers, you already mm-hmm. know, like they don't really miss. So yeah, <laughs> so exactly. like if you can get a guy if you get lucky that's like a christmas lift it's you give get lucky and you get waddle if you get a Jalen waddle you team that because that's four three four four speed that's elite mm-hmm. speed and also a guy who runs the the craziest routes so you're telling me you got two route runners one is scary terry with great speed and waddle who's a good route runner with good speed adding in samuels in the slot yo and, now we're talking McKissick, about something totally and, different and now McKissick, we're talking about and gibson and shit. gibson yes and now <laughs> gibson with that speed and also, and this is the thing, like, and you want, and this is the thing when I, talk, when I, was, when I was talking about using players correctly, you know, Gibson played wide receiver last year. In yeah. co- I mean, in, I mean, in, in Memphis, college, yeah. How many times did he line up in the slot? Wasn't the much. Sport? Exactly. That's what I'm talking Wasn't about. Much. Utilize everybody. Yeah. Utilize him to his strengths. Like, he I, did this. So I I'm think, saying, I think mm-hmm. Scott was trying to get his feet wet last year. Mm-hmm. I think he had a little bit of uh, that, that first date jitters, um, mm-hmm. you know, the butterflies. Towards the end of the season, yeah, he did start to open up the playbook. Uh, mm-hmm. he, he had Alex in there that was more comfortable running the plays that he was calling. So I'm th- I, I, I'm going to believe that this year he's going to open up the playbook even mm-hmm. wider because he doesn't have that first year. I mean, what he called plays for four games in, uh, at the end of the uh, Carolina um his last yeah, year, so did, Carolina. yeah, yeah, yeah. Before that, that it was his dad that was doing it. So. Yes. In the beginning of the year, there was some head scratch and play calls and I mm. get the reservations of, you know, making sure that Turner is, is going to use, utilize everybody's strength because mm. we have weapons now. You have to thing, look at who your quarterback or your quarterbacks were during those, that's, that's those too. play that's calls too. too. Yeah, absolutely. That's absolutely. Definitely. Definitely. We have weapon. Though. The thing when we went into the last season, we didn't have any weapons. We didn't know what we had. We didn't know what uh, Ron was doing. We knew we had Terry. signing all these we guys. Terry, all we yeah. had was Terry, Logan, Logan Thomas. Are you kidding me? Yeah. No uh, one saw that coming. They were no. trashing him week one uh, yeah, and week exactly. two. Exactly. Uh, uh, McKissick. Okay, uh, McKissick. <laughs> we we knew he was a, a pass catching back, but did we expect him to do what he did this year? No, we didn't. We already no, knew didn't. what Terry was. So now we know what uh, Thomas can do. We have Terry. Now you add Samuel to mix. If we get yeah. a, 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 a boundary receiver, mm, I'll tell you what, man, because if it's, if it's Patrick can throw the ball and he will throw the ball he and he throw. will, he's not afraid to push it downfield. Mm-hmm. He's not afraid to uh, throw it into tight coverage, tight windows. He's not afraid to do it. Yes. We're going to have to deal with some interceptions. Big deal. But guess what? We're going to score some points, too. I think he's the only white guy in the league that actually has swag, to be honest with you. Too. I mean, too much swag. You got too much swag. <laughs> Look, Am I right way too much swag. No, you don't know. That's why I like. See, this is the thing. This is what kills me about Washington fans. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be on my soapbox. This is what kills me about Washington fans. Like, everybody who's negative about this signing, I guarantee you, take a, a hold this clip, save it. I guarantee you, everybody who, is, who hates on this dude, we, when they see him in the stadium, we have fans back in the stadium, mm-hmm. they will cheer the bejesus out this dude, period, because he's the kind of dude that fans will gravitate to. Yeah, right. That's right. So all look, these people who are hating listen, will be the same folks who all cheer. All they need to see is the, the way that the team reacted to Heineke. Yes. They need to see mm-hmm. that happen to Fitzpatrick, and it's over. Over. It over. is over. And he everybody loves Fitz. That's yep. the thing that – like, you got the most egotistical wide receivers ever to play this game that loves yeah. this dude. Mm-hmm. Terrell Owens loves this dude. That lets you know enough. He turn, he'll throw – Brandon his, Marshall. Turn it, Brandon Marshall. Mm-hmm. Deshaun Jackson. These dudes will yeah. turn their backs on a quarterback in a second. Yep. And they love this, and they love this yep. dude. And he's 
been a QB know. two in his whole damn career. Exactly. That's, that's what I'm saying. So you already know. Yeah. But <laughs> it, 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 he immediately upgrades. And I'll tell you what, I was about to shave my beard off until we signed him. And then I was it. like, you no, know what? I said, no, you I, said got, I think I'm going to keep it. I tried to let mine grow out, but my wife said, no. <laughs> no, you got to tell you, it's the Fitz movement. Bro. I know, and, and, and I know Keith, but It's man. the Fitz movement, man. She got to understand, yeah. Fitz. Should she got, Keith, she got to understand, Fitz, Keith. I'm trying, but she ain't going to let me apply the Caucasian <laughs> Sasquatch. <if> I don't. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. All right, so we're going to segue after the Caucasian Sas- uh, Sasquatch. <laughs> um, now that phase one is over with, okay, we got the big signings out of the way. We still got, what, $21 million, $20, 21000000 million Sounds left in cash days. Yeah. We, right. uh, we need five to, to, to $7 million for the draft pick. So we got a little bit of money left. Mm-hmm. We do still have some holes to fill. I, I think we should go after someone like uh, a Malik H- a Hooker. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, we're probably going to have to get him, you know, maybe about $5 million. But we need somebody to solidify that free safety spot. Yeah. Wale, do you see anybody out there um, that we can bring? We, we got holes. We got two holes in my eyes at linebacker. We need two yeah. starters. With, yeah, from need, either we, free agency or the draft, we, yeah. we need two of them. Big and, time, definitely linebacker. Um, that's a position I think is in desperate need. I think that they pretty much let everybody on the market go. The guys that I really wanted. So now I think they have they're more in, in line at draft. You know, draft and linebacker. So you know, I would love to get the kid from Notre Dame. Um, you know, Jackson, like, yeah, I would gonna, love. I'm not going to try to pronounce his name. I always yeah, yeah. I'm not Jerry. I should be able to, and I'm going to. I probably would mess it up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> but yeah, there's so many. And it, but you would draft on speed. But again, you can get that in the second round. You can really yeah. get a good, a really good linebacker in the second round. But I just hope that that's really a a position they really take serious and in a play in a position of like, okay, not just don't just get a guy. You know, you gotta what get, mean? Your guy. Gotta get, get your guy. Ron's got to get your guy. Your guy. guy. Like, you know, we get K, you know, no knock on him, but KPL, you know, he was solid. I I, I was glad. I, I, he was just a jag to me. He, he, yeah, he, thank he you. A, he was he, just he, solid. He wasn't a guy. He wasn't a dude. Like, he was solid, but he wasn't a guy that you felt like, all right, can make a play. Like, like, Holcomb makes plays. I don't care yeah. if he messes up, but he makes plays. Like, I've he's been, willing to smack somebody. Like, he's been, trying to smack somebody. I've been saying from the beginning, I want them to blow up the uh, linebacker room, keep Holcomb, yeah. Holcomb, and, and, and get rid of everybody, everybody else. else. Everybody else. Everybody else. Because everybody, at, least, at least you got a player who's trying to make a play, which is, yeah. a, to me, I am cool with you failing if you're trying to blow shit up. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. cool with yeah. it. Like, I, I am cool with it. But see, so but they don't have enough guys like that because when you got to me, they're at an, at an advantage. Those linebackers where you have, you know, not to be redundant, we all know this. When you have the Alabama wall, you got you got Young, you got Sweat, you got Settle, you go Ionitis is coming back, who probably is the best interior anyway. Yep. He's coming back. Absolutely. You've been you've been spoiled. All right, you're spoiled. You to get them some dogs on that that second tier in the linebacker position where who can make plays and some people who can people who can run and chase people down, not guys who are reactive have guys who are proactive so yeah. hopefully they do that in the draft and, and take care of that situation to me because that's the for, to me that's the biggest thing safety is important too don't get me wrong safety is important but that is the biggest thing if landon collins can do it move him to linebacker something like something i i don't want to though he right? doesn't like, want to I, I, I said this i said that months He's ago dumb. i i, I <laughs> why wouldn't you why wouldn't you want to do that to, you would be a part of a one of the better washington Egos, defenses in recent history, yeah, if he would do that, I agree. Because he's a box safety, plain and simple. What yeah. is a box safety? Someone that plays in the yeah. box where, where the linebackers play. You're a linebacker, man. Gain five to seven pounds, and you'd be perfect at it. Jesse. But, but even more than that, Jesse just blew his Achilles. So what's what's he think he going to do? I know. Right. Like exactly. that's the thing. Is that what you what you think you're going to do? You think you're going to come back net normal? Not you're not going to come. You and you're already hefty. You're a hefty safety. You're not. Yeah. Yes, go play exactly. linebacker. Yeah, like play linebacker. It's not like st- the ego needs to go away. Like, you- and plus, did you not watch last season? Did you not notice this young boy already took your job? Basically, right, like, right. Are you the stupid. Job's gone. His like, job's who, who gone. you think you competing with? Like, who you think you competing with? <laughs> exactly. Come on now. Exactly. Like, you sometimes you gotta I look mean, at it. You gotta look at it and be and understand the situation you're in. It's gotta be, right? He's gotta be realistic. It's you gotta true. be realistic because the way you're acting, like I still want to play safety. That means you you want to be cut eventually. It may not be this season, but you want to be cut eventually. That's what that's what it's telling you. So what what he needs to do is check that ego to the side, 
Cam, it's your it's your position. I will play linebacker, and then and then and, and flourish off of that. He's gonna get paid the same, and you get paid the gonna, same. You're not gonna cut his pay, and you will play more, position. and yeah. you will play more. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Keith, what do you think his hesitation is, though? Why? Why it's is ego, he so man. stubborn on it? Ego. You know these, I, I, these dudes. It's an ego safety, thing. Safety, especially strong safety, is yeah. is kind of is almost is is, is a skill position in a, a way. It, it, it's. It's a sexy position, I guess, you know, and, and, and linebacker isn't really a sexy position. It's not a really, uh, no. uh, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of fun. Yeah. Well, yeah, but not everybody's Ray Lewis. You know? Yeah. <laughs> but he wouldn't be, he would be outside. He do, he would be out. He would be an outside linebacker. Um, he can do a lot of blitzing, which he does anyway. Yeah. And he's going to yeah. be good at it. He would check running backs and tight ends instead of wide receivers. Like, People that he can cover. Yeah, I mean, he's not a great cover dude anyway, so it makes it easy. He's not, he's checking the easier route yeah, rather than right. being stuck on a wide receiver. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just saying, like, dude, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so what's interesting is in free agency, we kind of saw the linebackers, you know, get taken off the market, right? A lot of, a lot and of were retained or, or franchise yeah. tag. I know? have to assume that Ron, you know, and squad, you know, knows that this is a position that they're weak in. Yeah. So then that leads me to think maybe their guy is in the draft and so Guys, it has to be if they're not making well, the moves at linebacker. Right. I, I'm just saying in general, like, you, you know, you're, you're, you got that one guy, that one linebacker you want to go after that you know that you you know you might have to do something, you might have to move up a little bit to go get whether, mm -hmm. whatever round that is. I'm not I'm not talking first round, right? Mm -hmm. I'm just saying in general, um, you know. And again, I'm just you know this is stupid because uh, for me, I, you you can't predict this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But I, I would have to imagine that Ron knows he needs his Luke Keekley, right? Yeah, yeah, got to absolutely. He saw how important that 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 was, and I think that that's what he's looking for. So, again, we have to go to the trust Ron type process, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, I, I'm not telling anybody to to, to trust anything you know because mm -hmm. they brought Jay Gruden in. I didn't trust that from day one. <laughs> um, but anyways, you know. So I, I think that the knowledge is out there. I just think that we have to to chill out a little bit because when they don't make moves, we as fans tend to be like, well, damn, do they even know that position's weak? Yeah. And I'm like, well, that's their yeah. job. Of course they know. know. Of course they, they know. know. Of course they know, <laughs> you know, but people freak out because we're so used to maybe not so much this past couple of years, but we've been so used to just going and grabbing and grabbing. True. Yeah. So honestly, I don't think Ron is blowing the rest of that money. I think he's going to go for some bargain bin guys like he did last year that ended up working out. Yeah. You know, he's going to get a collective. It's probably going to add towards the depth of the team. Mm -hmm. Right. And then we're gonna, just going to go get guys in the draft. And I think he's going to leave a little bit of money left because he does know that he's got some contracts coming up soon Yeah, and we got to take care of the people. But a lot of people are like, oh, they, we got all these contracts. You see what these teams are doing with these contracts? Yes. All this weird. <laughs> Boy, all years. This weird, yeah. Right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I don't know if it's going to be so difficult to get I these don't guys think signed up. It, and besides, the way that everyone's thinking. with these TV deals, you know how the salary caps that skyrocketing too. too. Yeah. So I don't think he's as stressed out as you probably would be in, 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 in a normal year. Cause this isn't really a normal year. Our salary cap got it pushed back it was it is a 20 million dollar difference and mm -hmm. what it was going to be or should have been to what it actually is well that's and the, also, at the, also at the same time ron's philosophy too is is that uh we're not going for super bowl this year no we, we know and, that and we yeah. shouldn't expect if we get that. there that's a great console you know that's it's a great a prize it's a yeah. bonus <laughs> but I, I think ron also understands you know and we should understand as fans when you sign fitzpatrick to a one-year deal this we're not saying we're saying he gives us a better opportunity than what we had last year for sure course, so he's looking to continue the success of the team mm -hmm. but it's just not going to be with fitzpatrick yeah and so we've got another year next year of you know, crazy free agency and, and, and draft to, you know, fill in these missing holes. So we're not going to get everything that we, we need this year. Yeah. And, and that's, that's okay. You know, yeah. we we're but seeing, again, we're seeing progress right now. And that's what, that's what matters. But again, you know, and, and I'll throw out this you know question to, to Wally, but how do you think fans are going to take it if we don't match the, the same similar success that we did last season? 
Oh, they'll take it hard, but it'll be okay. I mean, there's some draft picks. There's some really good players in next year's draft. Um, I actually want the kid from Oklahoma. If they don't play, they don't win enough. They can get rather from Oklahoma. I'm cool with that. I just, sometimes you need, you need to fall to, to 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 go to come back up. You know what right. I mean? So um, it was seven to nine last year. So it's not like this team is was 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 was, was gang but was, was busting the walls through every, everything. They were seven and nine at the end of the day. Right. Um, they they should be a little better. Um, the NFC East the NFC East is trash. I don't care what the Giants did. They're still, yeah, they're still trash. Right. You see, um, people are putting out their their lockdown secondary. Like it's oh. it's it's they're they're already starting to to try to make their way into relevancy. It's, yeah, it's just it's, it's so kind of funny. But but, but I, I do think that people will take it hard. But when you look at it. You know, to Ron's, to Ron's plan, he has a plan. And what, what it is is that, like you said, they, there's a reason why they, they didn't get a quarterback. Like some of the quarterbacks, these people were, you know, tr- what folks were thinking they should go after. There's a reason for that. They like they couldn't, he, he didn't, he didn't have, yeah, exactly. He couldn't they, get his they, guy. And they, in this draft class, if he does, if it doesn't slip the way he, if it doesn't, if he doesn't get his guy in a draft, he's not going to move up to get it. He's not going to reach on a quarterback. He's not going to move up to get a quarterback. So he'll be cool for next season. You know what I mean? Again, like like he said, it's there's a plan in place. Sure. Like he knows, you know what? Chances are us when going to the Super Bowl or winning the Super Bowl is slim. So I'm not gonna plan and put all my chips in it now. I'm gonna build this thing gradually so I can have sustainable uh, uh, sustainable success. And th- that's a good way to build this ball. He loves that term, uh, by the way. That's my boy uh, Ray's favorite. term. He loves that crap. He you, says it you all know, the time. I stole the sustain- term. Yeah, sustainability. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah. honestly, I mean, that's what you want to look at. You you know, uh, in anything you do, no matter what profession you're in, yes. you want to yeah. see growth, mm-hmm. yep. right? You, you're successful by your growth. Mm-hmm. If It's whether you're in sales. If you're sales, you want to beat your numbers from last year. Definitely. You know, and that's kind of, you know, where I see it. I don't think that, you know, um, uh, I don't think Ron sees Super Bowl by any means. Yeah. I just think but, what Ron wants to show everyone along with his team is improvement. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, from from Ron's uh, very first inter, uh, when he was introduced as coach, he said that there's a five year plan, and I truly believe that's that's right. That he does have a plan, and it is going to take probably about five years to build this team mm-hmm. and people need to be okay with that. It, we were in the gutter before Ron <laughs> came to this organization. I mean, top Talking to bottom, yeah. uh, it, it, him, not only him, but Bruce Allen, Dan Snyder, yeah. they've ran yeah. this organization into the ground. And the changes that Rivera I hate has- the way Jay Gruden fucking talks. Let's talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about that. Sorry, to, no, I'm not sorry to cut you off, Jesse. Like, <laughs> fucking- I hated listening to that man in a fucking interview. I'm like, why the fuck do you talk like that? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? That's why Deshaun Jackson be pinching your fucking nipple. Right? That's why he's giving you fucking that's why he's giving you fucking purple nurples because you sound like that. But anyways, carry on. Go ahead. Oh man, you brought that back. Oh my god. god. I said that's our coach, man. Our guys are giving our coach fucking purple nurples, man. I I would love I would love to to see someone try to do that to Ron Rivera. He'd probably punch him in the freaking face. Right. They they wouldn't they wouldn't make it. They wouldn't make it. Nope. All That's right, next up. So we'll get we'll get a little bit uh, in, into to quarterbacks in the, in, in the draft in a second, but I want to talk about something that we, especially on podcasts, it doesn't get talked about enough, but it's very important: is the offensive line. Mm-hmm. Our offensive line. You know why? Because it's a bunch of fat white guys. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm just going to keep it honest. Hey, is it Morgan, Morgan Moses. Man, Morgan come on. Man. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> and Morgan Moses. <laughs> I mean, right. at the end of the day, they're all fucking statues. I mean, so but go true. ahead, carry on. Sorry. So true. Okay, our offensive line had its ups and downs, but I think more ups than downs last year. All right, a lot of people want Darisol at pick nineteen. That would be that would uh, who pos- uh, Christian uh, it was a Christian Darisol from uh, Virginia Tech's offense offensive yeah, tackle. tackle. Is tackle? Who's uh, all saying that? A lot, lot of folks on CF. A lot of yeah, people a lot, lot of yeah, people on Twitter. On Twitter. It, oh, uh, right. I thought those, Lucas those, did, did the, the, played the, the, those Twitter uh, those, those Twitter, those Twitter gu- yeah those Twitter yeah. uh huh. I watch film Twitter people. Yeah. Oh man, don't get me started on <laughs> oh, man. You know what? I'm gonna sit back. <laughs> no, carry on, Jesse. Sorry, carry uh, on. I'm gonna sit back. 
No, get me started. Go ahead. Right. Well, Wale, this is for you. I'm about to mute uh, Keith here in a second. Uh, what did you think of our O line play last year? I mean, sp- I specifically on on the left hand side. Schweitzer thought, came in, I thought played very well. Yeah. And then Lucas the was supposed to be. Sorry, go ahead. That's it. That's it. No. Uh, I'm going to mute his ass. <laughs> Lucas, I thought played well. Yeah. I, I mean, is it, is it a huge need to go out and, and, and when we have other. I, 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 I know left tackles is important. Yeah, but do you know why? Do, do, you know, do, you, do you know why it is, though? Do you know why that is, though? Do you know why fans think that way? Because they've been spoiled. This is the problem. I, they've been used to. They've been used to seven. They were used to seventy-one. Yeah. Samuels and yeah. Yeah. Recently, yeah. seventy-one. They've been used yeah. to seventy-one. So every little that, thing yeah. is like, oh, he can't block. Yeah. Every little thing, like he can't block. You don't. Everybody doesn't have a seventy-one. They don't have a Chris Samuels. They don't have a Jim Lachey. They don't have folks yeah. like that. Now everybody has that type of left tackle. All right. The, look at what San Francisco paid for that dude. Like not yeah, everybody has that. Like, all right, Lucas was good, man. He wasn't bad. He was good. He just wasn't elite. Well, that's that's a different level. But he was good. And they got to D. Charles. That's the guy they hopefully hope they can uh, play a left tackle. Um, so he's the guy that they, they were high on. They like to D. Charles. You know what I mean? So that line, if you look at player for player on that line, everybody played well from the center yeah. to the left guard. To the right guard. I'm glad. Right we, tackle. I, I, I'm glad we locked up our, our center man. He, yeah, exactly. Uh, he he definitely. Well, let me ask you this: down. with with Sadiq getting hurt, yeah. right, as early as he did, do you think that uh, this is going to sound crazy and stupid? But I'm going to ask the question anyways. Mm-hmm. Do you think by him getting hurt and actually sitting down and being able to view the game itself? Do you think that that's going to make him potentially a better play at that position? I don't know. Left tackle is different. Yeah, like, I feel like you need, I think you need to get in there. Yeah. Like left tackle, it's not like I think quarterback you can you can sit and watch. I think certain positions you can sit and watch. Um, Learn the game. Right? I think left yeah. you got to be used to that strength because you're it's your come on. You, yeah, you're, you're, you're going up against it. the best pass you're rushers in the league. In yeah, the league. it's and, it's different. You got to get used to it. You get you got to get your body used to you know going against that type of speed on the outside, that type of power. It's yeah. hard. You know, it's hard to say. Uh, but you know what though. Truth be told, he could be ready because he's going against that in practice. You know what I'm saying? Like you're going against Amantes, Amantes. That's, 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 that's one young, good thing right? about our you offensive I mean? line. They're going to give uh, up against yeah, one of the so best defensive ex- lines exactly. in the entire league. So they'll be tested. Like they should be. He should be tested. So I feel like if he can handle, if we hear reports that how he's ha- he's handling himself in camp, like a like a stud, like a G, then I feel like you know what. We, they got one because it's the same thing. And I know, I know I'm going on another team, but this is when I knew that I heard when I was hearing about Trent. Again, that's a different type of beast. Yeah. When I heard that he was embarrassing Bosa, I was like, oh, he's ready. He's back. Because mm-hmm. that Bosa mm-hmm. dude ain't no joke. Like Bosa right. a dog. Uh, so Trent you can't embarrass Bosa, everybody that he yeah. went up against. So which is did, why, which is why I'm irritated that, that our fan base still trashes this dude because they're so oh angry yeah. they're at so angry. the way that he left. And I'm like, you know, I, like I love the TMZ bullshit of it, yeah. but at the end of the day, I want a, I, I want a dog, and he was one of them. He was a dog. Know? Yeah, he was a dog. Like, you can say, like, I thought it was hilarious that even though I knew it wasn't going to happen, but I, I heard some tweets that, would you want Trent back? I was like, you're damn right. I'll take Trent yeah. back. What's wrong with you? Yeah. This is like the one that- <laughs> If you be- say no, you you yeah, should just go. Like, you you're, get, get your out feelings of out of it. Like, get this, get that out of it. Like, yeah. you need to let that go because we're talking about bettering your team. You know what I mean? Like, you can get a player like that. Yeah. Like, yes, I you should be yeah. ecstatic. But anyway, but back to the point. Yeah, the only reason why fans complain about the line is because that dude is gone and they, 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 they were spoiled with that dude. Yeah. But- the line was good. Like, it really yeah. was good. And I, uh, Lucas deserved another year to start. In, yeah, in, I agree. I agree. Now, I do think we need some depth. Yeah. Uh, a- mm-hmm. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, one thing about uh, Charles is he – but he – he in, in training camp he was playing guard as well. And I yeah. think when he, when he came out to play, he was the guard. He was starting guard. So – Position flexibility is another key for Ron Rivera. The more that you can play, the better chance that you have. And yeah, I know a lot of people want uh, Lucas to be the swing tackle, and he he'd be a perfect swing tackle. But why well, try to fix something that isn't necessarily broken? I agree. You know what I mean? I and I think if we brought back the same offensive line, the same five starters, I think we'll be perfectly okay. We have actually someone that can move. That's what I'm saying. Okay? 
and and there's gonna it's gonna cut down on the sex right exactly. then and there. You know, we and that, yeah. Fitzpatrick can move the pocket. He can he can avoid. You saw even when Kyle Allen came in, the offensive line seemed to play better because he had movement. Dwayne yeah. Haskins couldn't move. What and you know, it's, it's Alex Smith. He, they couldn't move. He couldn't move whatsoever. So when you get some, somebody with some mobility, yeah, there's no. I, I don't. I I think you should go after someone else with the position, uh, positional value at that number nineteen pick, or trade back and get your linebacker, your quarterback of the defense. That's mm. what I want them to do. Uh, yep. with with pick nineteen. Saving Collins, come on, baby. I love you. I love you. I love you. I, want you <laughs> I think the 19, they get the best player. I feel like that's what they should do. Aren't Go they saying, the though, that Collins is, is, is more to drop in second round and not necessarily nah, a first round pick. Nah, he, he's supposed to be a first rounder. Yeah, he's, he's, he's supposed to be a first rounder. He, he, he's, he, first he's, rounder. Pro, he's projected okay. to go in between 22 and 26, somewhere he's around there. He's supposed to be, but you know how that how that goes. Yeah, you you know, a lot know. of projections yeah. don't, you know, but Aaron Rodgers is supposed to be a top 10 pick. Yeah, that's true. You know. <laughs> but, but there's linebackers all over the first and second round. Yeah, that that, that are dogs that that yeah. would do us justice. So if I was like for Washington, if you say you you know missed out on one of the supposedly the, the can't miss studs because in the first round typically you like can't miss studs yeah. and linebacker, you could still get one um, who maybe doesn't reach all reach all the check marks. You know, some because they may get like kind of because their 40 wasn't elite like they wouldn't like folks would think yeah, but you've yeah. seen them on Saturdays and they may have led, led the SEC in tackles mm-hmm. or may have led the, the ACC in tackles or something like that like Cole, like, like Holcomb did you know like yeah, Holcomb yep. led the, the ACC in tackles he was a tack- tackling machine exactly yep. so you can get a guy like that you'll be fine like yeah. I feel like they're missing guys like that I was just so pissed off I mean I, mean, I know it wasn't gonna, I mean it's not gonna happen but like Ruben Foster, I felt so bad in that situation. I really thought he was going to be the guy. I, I still want Everyone him to does. come back and give him a try, give him a shot, bring him to camp. Uh, I don't, I, it tells a you a these, lot. It a tells lot you a lo- lot. Yeah, yeah, a lot of these local reporters are saying, "No, nah, don't even." Nah, I know. Don't even think the about thing. it. Yeah, because I was like you, Jesse. I was like, come, but a lot of local reporters they they're stating that. Yeah. And they have it. Just not the, yeah. the, it's just the nerves aren't aren't generating correctly. That sucks. It that is sucks because he's such a talent. He is such yeah. a talent. Mm-hmm. Um, let's flip flip the line to the defensive line. All right, we our interior, uh, our tackle position. We we we've got depth. All right. Yeah. Well, I am a little concerned about our edge rushing. I know. Ryan Anderson, uh, even though Wait, he's wh- not a. Pro- what are we talking pro- about? Uh, our uh, d- defensive ends. Oh. I don't know shit about this, so carry on. <laughs> uh, Ryan Anderson uh, just got picked up by the New York Giants. Um, man, we have issues. Oh, did he? I missed that. Ryan yeah, that there. happened today. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Shoot, yeah. little traitor. Go ahead. Yeah, no shit. No shit. And now all of a sudden, everyone's missing him now, too. Oh, yeah. oh it's hilarious. They're yeah. missing him now. <laughs> oh, they're missing him now. He, he, he's, a, he's a three, four outside linebacker. He, he did, but he was depth. And, yeah. and, and oh, but I am boys worried. To men, it's if, so hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't even like him last they year. They did like him. A lot of people up. do not. Oh my God, they hated right. Ryan Anderson. He <laughs> was our best second round pick, and God knows how long. I mean, just think about it for a second. Ryan Anderson, we've had some. We've had crazy shit happen you, you with our what? second round right. picks of recent. Yeah, he may. Yeah. Be, he may be. Yeah. 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 JP Finley put something out there about. uh um, Sewer Cravens, Darius Geis. Yeah. Uh, I mean, come yeah. on. Our second round picks. I remember uh, Malcolm Kelly and Devin Thomas. Come on, back man. In- Geis would have oh, worked, worked out. Geis would have worked. worked out. He would have worked out. But he was, out. But oh, he was fucking, he was trying to shit. finger Meemaw. <laughs> <laughs> If that wasn't so dirty, I'd name that. that that'd be the podcast name right there. <laughs> <Is that laughs> fucking, me, fucking poor Meemaw LSU Ugh. just trying to do oh her my, job. Oh, homie's Lord. over there fucking oh my like. God, man. All right, I don't, back on I, track. I, I, homie's oh, like, can I eat your ass, Meemaw? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right, go ahead. I'm sorry. Um, We got a problem at guy. Edge Rusher. Because yeah. if, one, if Montez Sweat or uh, Chase Young oh, yeah. gets hurt, we're in trouble. Yeah. I say the, the, I don't think Brian Kerrigan's been getting many phone calls. Oh, you bring Brian what about back? if we can bring him back at a John Kime like, alluded to it? Will you he know? complain about not will he complain about playing time? Because I don't need him to not if, if he now. doesn't have a choice, you uh, know, no. if he's not uh, getting 
Because uh, currently, right now, he thinks go... he can he can start. Yeah, currently, right now, but he it, thinks he can start. But if there's not a lot of teams, which it doesn't sound like to me okay. that uh, yeah. there's a need for him to start, he still wants. Why to Why wouldn't he play. come back to his right. to his team? Yeah, that makes you sense. Know? I mean, I would definitely like to have Ryan back. I just don't want the whole the malcontent Ryan Kerrigan yeah, to come I, in because he feels like he should get more snaps. And because I had an issue with that going to last year, because at this point, at the, where that team was at, Washington was at. It was young and young and young and yeah. um, young and sweat, and yeah. they yeah. should have been that on downs at the key points. And I felt like because Ryan was the vet, yeah. they wanted to have yeah. him out there at certain key points where it should have been those two dudes. Sure, so I don't want right. that type of I don't want that type of energy in the locker room. You know what I mean? Now if he understands his role, yeah. which I th- he should like you to your point. Yeah, yeah he, he should be he, humble. He, he should be humble. To a point to say, you know what? I'm coming here as the vet. I get some snap. I'll get the snaps to keep these young boys fresh, and I'll and, and that will make me a better player too as well. I think they should definitely do it. A guy yeah. who's familiar with the system, why not? Well, and I don't have the the stats on it, but I felt like every time I was watching as a fan when he would come in, you know, he had he was, seven, he six was, or six sacks last that's what I'm year. Saying, too. Yeah, like, I agree. Like he, he had fresh. success for the limited amount of plays. Yeah, so. he did. It's like, you know, you, you kind of did better than when you were starting. I agree. You I know? totally agree yeah. with you. I think he, that's what I, I felt like he wanted more snaps, but I felt like he was doing better when they were limiting his step, his snaps. Like, so when they came, when they brought him in for that initial, that initial, uh, like say third down, they just brought him in for that third down. Yeah. You got the best eye out of Ryan Kerrigan. Shoot. I would have loved to legs. see him. I would have loved to see all three of them on the on the field together. Oh, you know that, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know, so but I just I just felt like, but I, I mean, obviously, when you achieve so much success, you know, for the for a franchise, and then all of a sudden you're being phased out. I get it. Like I understand as a competitor, I get it. But yeah. Um. But if he's nothing to humble himself, I, I'm I'm for it. And that's what I'm saying. Nothing wrong with him wanting to start. Yeah. You know, and wanting to continue to be successful if yeah, you definitely. think that you can do it. But if these teams don't value the same way that you value you're always supposed to value yourself higher. of course all the time all the time all the time like if you all don't then what's the point point yeah I right agree. but if these teams don't come you know valuing him the way that he values himself yeah i think that that's gonna you know say okay well i still want to play yeah i'm still on a team you know where this makes sense i was also successful yeah. uh with the snaps that i did have you know let's do this i mean he's not gonna quit so yeah. You know, I, I think ultimately, just when you read in between the lines of what these good local reporters, you know, like John Keimer, you know, when they're putting stuff out there, they're alluding this is probably going to happen, oh, you gotcha. know, because, you know, I'm not saying that that's what he's saying, but it always seems to turn out that way. Like, you know, he's not going to come out and say, I had a conversation with Kerrigan and not too many teams are interested yeah. because he's not going to, he's not trying to hurt Ryan's value. Yeah, of course right? not. Yeah, of course not. So, yeah. but he can put it out there, you know, that this could be an option, which 10 days ago, everybody's sending out Ninja Turtle tweets, you know, where apparently, you know, he's the, 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 the splinter. Oh you know, yeah, I saw he, that. <laughs> that's stupid shit, you know, and like, you know that he's the old splinter and now he's bringing in the new little baby young ninja turtles fuck out of here like (laughs) and everyone's giving their goodbyes like goodbye like yeah okay so he did put something out you know that alluded that he probably yeah that he's gone so to be fair i'm not gonna rag the fans enough but man save your goodbyes until it actually happens because he could very well be back on this team and honestly i like the depth part of it and yeah. let's do it. I mean, it, it's a need. You know, it's a need. It is a need. I hated. It really I hated when he started though. That man. <laughs> I've never seen somebody that just completely always runs past, past the fucking quarterback. I know. I know. The fuck you doing, Kerrigan? I know. The fuck you doing? Like you're supposed to get the court. This guy runs a straight line pass. Like fuck, man. Like these. <laughs> these almost sat categories. That's not a such thing, bro. It's not. You know. It's not. But then again it's easier for me to say because i just sit on the couch and cuss all day so <laughs> we all don't we all do that though yeah. we all do I know. that yeah. i know that <laughs> <laughs> let kerrigan come to my house watching me work he'll be like man you better hit send on that motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck wrong with you oh man i thought you got about a that the other... two o'clock That's bitch funny. take that meeting I thought about that the other day. I was like, you know what? What would players do to us in our real jobs? Like, in terms oh, of critiquing us. That's why I don't to come in to, 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 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, my office. That's why I don't <laughs> app because I took a little nap today and I was kind of slightly a little late for this meeting that I did. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm like, man, if if these athletes knew, you know, somebody be in my house talking about you missed your meeting, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, you suck. You suck at your job, bro. You fucking suck. Yeah, you know crazy. so. That's why I don't add them because yeah, you like, know I had I think, to. I, I taught myself that too. I had that same like when I was younger. I used to like, I'm at, fuck it, I'm acting, I'm adding everybody. And then it was like, then I was like, you know what? If that was me, nah, I wouldn't. No, nah, I wouldn't want. I wouldn't want that type of. I would. I wouldn't respond right about that. Like I know no. who I wouldn't respond right. So you at know what? The, at the end of these days, these guys yeah. make money. They live in a good life. Yeah. While while I'm over here bitching and complaining <laughs> in my small little room, <laughs> you know. So I ain't worried about it. I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> All right. Um, our, our, our final topic I, I want to get to uh, really quick is uh, there's been a, a debate, uh, as always, uh, on, on Twitter on whether or not uh, Ron Rivera would uh, possibly trade up or even just take a quarterback in this draft. Um, I want to give my feelings on it first, uh, just my two cents real quick. If they see their guy in there. I don't care if they got Brian Fitzpatrick. I, that that should not determine one way or another. Mm -hmm. If they believe they have their guy and they want, they, if they need to move up to go get him, they're going to do it. Yeah. They're absolutely going to do it. Ryan is a professional. He's helped young quarterbacks plenty of times in the past it doesn't matter it matter that he signed him doesn't matter that we signed uh Hineke. it doesn't matter that we signed uh allen both Hineke and allen for all intents and purposes they're, they're cuttable they're you, very could, cuttable. you know it, 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 they they mean nothing and poor montez looked like he almost shit himself on live tv when he thought he was going to go on he's probably gone anyways so if they like a Lance and Lance is in their well, within if, within their uh, reach, they're going to trade up to go get Lance. Lance should sit anyway. I think pretty much every quarterback on the board besides Trevor Lawrence Agreed. should sit for a year. Agreed. Okay, and there shouldn't even be a debate if they have a guy that in mind that think that that they could be with this franchise for ten to twenty years. They're going to give up the assets to go get him. Plain and simple. Wale, what do you think about that? I agree. I agree with everything you just said. I, I feel like nobody other than Ryan Fitzpatrick, and I, and I like Heineke, so I'm not, I'm, I like Heineke. But oh, yeah. well, they're all cuttable. Know. They're cuttable. Yeah. He's cuttable. Like yeah. my point is, he's cut. They're cut. Those two are cuttable. Like at the end of the day, what have the other two quarterbacks, other than, you know, again, Fitzpatrick's a little bit proven, more proven than the other, the other, the other two. They haven't been, they haven't proven anything. So, this whole notion that like, oh, wow. It's like, as if we're cutting Joe Montana, we, we can cut these individuals. They're not Joe yeah. Montana. They're not, they're, they're the Heineke and, and Allen. Yeah. Um, so if they get their guy, yeah, I think if Ron has a guy that he wants, he will get them. I don't know. It depends on how much he has to trade up, you know, and what he has to give up. Cause I, I do believe Obviously. that Ron has stated. Within reason. Within, within, within reason, reason, right? So if it's 15 yeah. first round and picks. Of course, it's not going to yeah. be an RG3 yeah. type of thing. Yeah. Uh, if Ron sees a situation where if Trey Lance is his guy and he falls to him or it's like a, maybe a couple picks down and he can get him, I think that they'll that, – if that's his guy. Again, if that is yeah, yeah, that's that what that's, that, that's my and whole yeah, point. Yeah, I definitely that's see that point. he would do that. He's not going to sacrifice a guy that he really, really likes for Allen or Heineke. Put it that way. If it's Mac Jones, I'm going to throw myself off a of I don't think it'll right, be Mac ahead. Jones. <laughs> I don't think no, Mac don't Jones think. is going to be as sorry as y'all think, though. No, I, I, don't I don't know. Don't, no, it's, I'm going to say it's hard to talk about Bama quarterbacks because they always do – like, they do this. Like, they put up numbers. Like, do they put up numbers. Because, because they all – Bama yeah, has an NFL team. Yes, and they have an they NFL offensive line. Yeah. They have an NFL offensive line. They have NFL wide receivers. Mac they Jones have, had, that's multiple. That's not yeah, just one. That's yeah. multiple. Mac Jones had his pro day today and did not look good. Oh, he did. It didn't, didn't look good. Didn't, he didn't look, look good. good. Oh, he didn't, didn't look good. All? Yeah, I was watching that before on the pod. He uh, did not look I mean, good. I don't well, like. One, listen, the one dude at the combine, his dick fell out of his pants. <laughs> <laughs> He's still all right. Like, yeah, but Mac Jones good. could be. Mac Jones could be soon. I mean, I feel like I feel like if, if Mac Jones was in a different. To me, I look at Mac Jones as a second rounder. I've always looked at him as, as a second rounder. I, I, not bad. I, I, I thought he was. I th I'm thinking third round, but yeah. right, right, See, right. Not bad. Yeah. I feel like in a different draft class, he would be a second rounder, which isn't bad. Like I think a, could, a different time. I think I think the, these prototypical dropback pastors are kind of fading out of the league. Yeah. I think I think offenses are starting to be designed and built around. Yeah, but movement. it depends on how you like. You don't have to be like this. Is the thing you don't have to be. 
the um like uh, the Russell well when no, Russell was you don't younger. need a ru- you don't need to you be, don't a have to be that no, yeah, you don't be don't a runner. Be a runner. It's just, just that you gotta know how to move in the pocket. Like Tom Brady has for for a while when people started saying that you don't need a stat like you can't have a statue, but Tom Brady has found this art form of where how he knows how to be mobile within the pocket. Tom so, Brady is Tom Brady. I know I mean, there's like one Peyton, in a I know million. Peyton yeah, was that yeah, way too. Yeah. Like these, these are guys that in this box where you feel like you got them lined up, but they can sidestep, step up in the pocket. Yeah. Certain little small yeah. things that they can do. Um, Aaron Rodgers is mobile, but Aaron Rodgers can do that within the pocket as well. Yeah. So um, you it's just, like they have uh, eyes in the back of their head. Yeah, they just even, sense like, the yeah. movement, you know? Yeah, even Russ, Russell Wilson nowadays is doing the same thing. Like he's mobile within the pocket. Like he doesn't run as much. So it's just like, you just got to find that type of guy. Like, Mac Jones may not be as athletic as a Russ, but he may be, like, be compared at, to, like, Tom and whatnot. But I don't see the mobility in the pocket like Tom. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's yeah. the thing with him. But, again, you know, he put up good numbers. He played a high level. He has to be in a situation. I think he could be effective, but he has to be in a situation where there's a plethora a of talent around. Him. Great offensive line yeah, and because, very, very good talent. Yeah. I mean, I it, it, New England could target him because that's a that's a quarterback, a, a Bill Belichick, Bill Belichick type quarterback. But him, yeah, like I said before, a lot of these quarterbacks they need to sit. They need, they need to, to sit. All of them. Like I agree with you. Yeah. Everybody they, needs to sit. Other than the other than Lawrence, like yeah. that's it. That's that, that's like the that's the guy. Yeah. Like Lawrence is the guy. Like yeah. I've said, he's the guy. He's just it is what it is. And every to me, if Washington gets a quarterback. Depending again, if if Matt Jones is a guy that Ron Rivera likes, that's fine. Sit him. Watch not my under. cup of tea. Not my yeah. cup of tea. Yeah, watch just, it, to me, he him. looks like a a good, a very very good career backup, and that's not a bad. That's that's not a bad thing. That's not mm. necessarily a bad thing. I just don't just looking at our offense and, yeah. and and what they're trying to do. He just doesn't doesn't fit. Well, it depends yeah. on who the, what the options are in nineteen. I think that's the that's the main thing yeah. in terms of like who who is he. Like, who are the players that are available other than quarterback, right? Because I believe that Mac Jones will probably be the, the last of the core quarterbacks. Yeah, he's like the, the, fifth, the fifth quarterback. Off yeah, the so board. if – so if, if, if it depends. Like, if you – if Mac Jones is compared to a wide receiver that – an elite wide receiver – then w- w- are you going Mac Jones or are you going for that elite wide receiver that you they got to love think- they got to love Mac Jones I mean they got to think that he's the future yeah. so to, that's the thing it just depends on how much that. they value yeah. him that's all it just depends I, on I think they, they should they should take one in the third round uh someone like uh uh, uh Mills or 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 preferably Kellen Mond I'm very very Everybody loves him I gotta watch yeah. this kid play I'm, everybody loves him very, I'm not gonna he, lie he's a he's a little inconsistent at times but I think if he can sit for a year or maybe even two Mm-hmm. Man, he has a lot of Dak Prescott See, in him. I like Trey, so I do like Trey Lance, but I don't like. I don't. I do too. I don't, I don't like I don't Trey want... Lance to a point of a, that I want to start him. I know a lot of people were talking about. I don't. Look, oh, he's I, got to sit too. He's got I think one he's a year. Major project. He's he's got one year of experience, mm-hmm. one year of experience, and one game in a small school yeah, with I agree. down competition. He's not one of those. I, got anything? On, oh, go ahead, Wally. No, 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 no. That was. Uh, it. So you got anything on quarterbacks, Keith? Before we move on. No, oh, man, I, 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 enough for me. Like, <laughs> All right, we're going to segue to my favorite uh, segment of the week. It's called Keith's Corner, where Keith gets the microphone. Oh, and I got to warn you guys. I love it. I have zero <laughs> clue what the hell is coming out of his mouth. I'm going to sit back. But I will say it's probably going to be entertaining. Keith, okay. the mic is yours. Couple things. If these folks i'm addressing folks on twitter stop with these goddamn fucking uh film like you're just a know-it-all <laughs> a fucking expert if you fucking know all of it why the fuck aren't you doing it for a living get paid for it don't post these fucking videos and expect me to be like oh yeah i get what you mean he's great on the outside he can <laughs> He can fuck up on the inside. He's a blue collar guy. Fuck out of here. I don't want to hear any of it. Like you're not, you're, 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 you you don't get paid for it. So if you don't get paid for it, stop posting it because I don't care. You're not teaching me anything. I'm not listening to you. Okay. That's number one. Number two, I posted earlier about craft slice cheese, craft slice cheese. I don't give a fuck if it's fake or not. That shit is better than deli cheese. You know why it's better than fucking deli cheese, right? 
because have you tried to cook have you have you tried to fucking make a grilled cheese sandwich right yes. with some <laughs> deli cheese that shit don't taste right but i bet you put that sliced cheese in there from that wrap that shit's all gooey that is a fucking grilled cheese right so my wife comes home with this bullshit all the time with this deli sliced cheese and it's all thin sliced and you got to rip that shit apart. I don't have time for that. Just give me some fucking fake ass cheese. Let me put it on. That shit is good. And I don't give a fuck. Anybody on fucking Twitter tells me anything different. Oh, it's fake cheese. Like you ain't never ate anything fake before. Get the fuck out of here. We all be eating fake shit. That cereal. I got fake ass cereal in there. Right? It's still good. I eat it. Right. Um, and the last thing that I have to say is, uh, I, I, I'm enjoying like today was my breakout episode and moving forward. I'm definitely going to tell everyone, right. That, uh, uh, again, if Maryland and Virginia were to get into a fight, right. Delaware's bitch asses would just be sitting there watching. I'm just saying, <laughs> right. And then Maryland might take the win, you know, but I don't have to worry about none of it. Cause Doubtful. I live in New Jersey. Um, and really, honestly, that's all I got for Keith's Corner. I came with some weak shit at the end, but that's okay. Um, everybody can kiss my ass about that fake cheese, though. Everyone's like, oh, it's one molecule away. You don't even know what it's a two molecules is. away, goddamn. Tell me, plastic. give me the goddamn definition for molecules. How about that? What's the definition? Do you, what's a molecule? All right, we're going we're gonna to move away from this segment now. I Thank love you, it, Keith. man. Crack, I'm with uh, you. Crack, that craft cheese, grilled cheese sandwich is, is, is thank special. You. It's thank special. You. Put some butter on it too on both sides. Oh my man, we talk. I, I have a small <laughs> rant. I have a small rant. What's that? For those assholes out there that think uh, people that do podcasts uh, are wannabe insiders, uh, are bloggers, I didn't touch um, that. kiss my fucking ass. I I have we have never once said that we that we're fucking insiders or reporters. We don't claim to fucking be anybody. We do this for fucking fun because mm -hmm. we love the team because Twitter doesn't give us enough fucking characters to speak our goddamn mind. So if you don't fucking like it, don't fucking listen. And if you got an issue with me, catch me over at Keith's fucking red zone fucking <laughs> parking lot and we can fucking throw goddamn fucking hands. Just bitches. Man. I love it. Jesse, I love it. Jesse, you're inviting people to the red zone lot, man. I, I don't know it. if I'm red gonna zone. be able to make it this year. Man. Yo, I love it. <laughs> Listen, no, you know, can... people ain't people gonna hate Jesse. You already know people gonna hate that. Look, I mean... look, the problem is they can't put it together. That's why they hate That's, you know what I mean. If is you can't it jealousy? put it together, oh you're damn right it is. You know, people people what, hate what? what they can't do. That's what I've learned. I think I've seen the same tweet you're talking about. Too. Yeah. People hate what they can't do. So if you can't. I, I stayed out of that because I, 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 I got saw it. I, just, I, I think I saw hot. it. I laughed. I saw it and I laughed. But like, so because I, I don't I don't do I don't do Twitter gangsters because they don't see you. They never in your face. So. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't, yeah. I don't do that. I don't do that. They're going to be uh, in my base at the red zone. They, they, this they, year. They're, they're going to be in their goddamn mama's basement. Keith, don't, don't, they won't be there. Believe me. That's how they act. Okay. But <laughs> no. So to a point where it's like, you know, people hate because they can't they're not doing it, but you may not may, you may not have the funds to put it together. You may not know how to do it. You may not be educated enough to do it, whatever it may be. Therefore, that's why you say the shit that you say. So it's cool. So my thing that you people who do hate on shit like that or whatnot, you know, just have a coke and a smile and shut the fuck up. Yeah, and keep it, keep you. it going. Exactly. <laughs> thank That's you. all it is. That's oh, all it is. I look at this as getting away from my wife and kids for yeah. an hour. Shit. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's it's relaxing. I don't get paid just, for this. This well, is just fun. It's we're, like we're, anything, yeah, we're just talking about something that we all love. I mean, it's that's like, it. It's like anything, man. It's like you sh you're showing your creativity. How can you hate on anybody who's trying to show creativity? Mm. And then also, it's like it's like anything. Well, I hate on a, a kid who's trying to be an be a basketball player. Do I? Why do I? Why would I hate on that? If, and right. if and if the individual wanted, they're if they're, in a, if they're aspiring to to do this so they can be on another level. Why do you hate on that? Like you know yeah, what I mean? Like I'm so. Sure. It just it just shows that that individual just sad in his life. It's okay. Life maybe will be okay. I, maybe I'm Your mama will give you a hug. Like, maybe you ain't getting any. I don't know. Yeah, but life will be that, okay. It could be, it could be. <laughs> or they're not old enough to get any or know maybe, what to do with it. Maybe. They just need to apply the Sasquatch. That's man, all. Just go, oh. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it could be Caucasian, African. Yeah. It don't matter. Yeah, it don't just matter. Apply the Sasquatch and just yeah. you know yeah, do just, it. 
just do it, man. I'm just, just practicing it. for my ESPN radio show that's coming hey, out in a couple look, of years. Look, right. Fuck it. And it would be nothing be wrong, and nothing would be wrong with that. Yeah, like, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Nothing cares, would be wrong man. with that. We ain't it's claiming okay. like we got credentials or anything like that. We're just talking ball. Fuck yeah, it. Yeah. It's okay. off the subject, but yeah. do people even live in Delaware? <laughs> man, stuff, man. Tax free, man. It's tax free money, bro. It's tax free. Oh, okay. Makes sense. You know what I'm saying? You go to McDonald's, it's a dollar. The is, dollar Delaware, is, real. is Delaware really t- tax free? Yes, yeah, yeah. You go to you McDonald's. Live De- you live in Delaware? I know. I, man, I, I did a road trip to, to a homecoming years ago when I was in college. And oh, you're in Delaware? No, I'm in Maryland. I'm oh, Maryland. I thought, okay. I thought I just oh. called you a side bitch. No, no, you're okay. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> I ain't trying to fight with you at the red zone. Look, no, hey, Keith, we, I told you we're here. We're good. Okay, Keith, we're good. Right, cool. We're good. We're good. So, no, nah, I mean, I, I drove for a uh, homecoming from my from my college in Maryland to uh, Delaware, to Dale State, and I went to McDonald's, and I was I'm so immature at the time. I was like, I gave him a dollar. They said your 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 double cheeseburger is a dollar. I was like, hmm. In Maryland, it's like a dollar ten, a dollar fifteen. Yeah. He said, no, it's a dollar. We don't do taxes here. Damn. I said, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I said, here you go. Here's my dollar. Matter of fact, I told my boy, I was like, we're going to another store. Shit ain't t- shit is tax free. Damn. I don't need no change. These ones are good is, enough. Isn't Florida? <laughs> isn't Florida's like that too? I think. Is it uh, they're, they're, Florida? No, they Florida? don't. They don't state tax. They don't state tax your paychecks. I remember. Yeah, they don't tax your paycheck. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I lived in Florida for two years. There's no grocery yeah. tax there. Yeah, mm. something like that. There's a long time. Long. No grocery and clothes tax. I don't know about anywhere else, but yeah. All right, all right. Let's, uh, let's wrap we, this we, up. We're, we're going to wrap up. Wale, we uh, really appreciate you coming oh, on. No Tell us. Is that how you pronounce it? Wale, uh, it's cool. Wale. Wale. Uh, we've been Wale. calling you the rapper all episode. I, I, you know what? Funny <laughs> story. My cousin. That's his. Co- that's the cousin. That's his cousin. Not my cousin though. The, my cousin is his cousin. Not my okay. cousin though. So right. why? Ah, okay. Uh, yeah. I, Wale. You know, so, Oh, Wole, is that no. right? Is that get it right? Wole, it's cool. My, Wole. My, my nieces call me Uncle Wally, so they're really, I, oh, really, I'm Wally. every which way. I might, call, I might just call you way. Uncle Uncle Wally for now. <laughs> I don't fuck it up. <laughs> Tell us uh, where where I uh, where where my, our listeners can can find you at and what what you got coming down the pipeline. All right, so so on Twitter, you can catch me at where I'm a little bit more raw. I'm always trying to get at Joy Taylor from um, Fox 5. I mean, not Fox Fox. I said Fox 5. Uh, Fox Sports, because Joy smoking. Taylor Good is gosh, something to me. Smoking. All right, so <laughs> at <laughs> Wole underscore USS. That's for the Urban Sports scene. Also, you can catch me on Twitter at Urban Sports scene. Also, uh, in terms of the show, our live podcast, we have actually tonight at 8 o'clock. Um, you can catch it at uh, UrbanSportsScene.com. Cool. Uh, where we'll probably be talking, we'll be talking about the free agent signings, um, also the 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 NCAA tournament, referring about the Georgetown Hoyas and Maryland Terps, and um, so we'll talk about that. And uh, you know, if you want to, if you can't miss, if you missed the live show, you can always subscribe to the podcast on all podcast platforms. So just search the Urban Sports thing. Cool. And I know you've been doing this a long time. Oh, you man. know, and I've been checking out <laughs> checking out a lot of your episodes, man, and some of the stuff that you're doing, you know, as you can see, as you're growing, you're seeing a lot of the other podcasts kind of doing, you know, similar stuff. And, yeah. and to me, I don't see it as stealing. I see it more as this is what you put out there in the market for other people to, oh, you know, pick up, you, you know, pick on. So, you know, there, there's definitely some stuff that I've seen that I've I'm trying to bring to the table to podcasts that I've learned from your shows. So oh, man, appreciate yeah. that, man. Yeah, man. That's a blessing. Yeah. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, appreciate absolutely. The love. Appreciate the love for real. Um, like, no, nah, we all a family, man. Like, that's one yeah. thing I, I told I mean, somebody who started who now is kind of doing big things. I was like, you know, like we're, we're all in a community. We're a family. And if everybody eats, you know, one eats, everybody eats. You know what I yeah. mean? So, like, if don't like somebody asked, can I be a guest on your show? I was like, what the fuck? Who the fuck am I? Be guest on, yeah, you can be a guest right. on my show. Like, who am I? Like, who am I say no? Right. Like, no, Same we all here. eating out here. Like, yeah. you yeah. know what I mean? So it's all love. I appreciate that. And I appreciate everybody who's doing their thing and, and grinding. So for the hater out there who's talking about podcasts, fuck you and have a yeah, good day, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, exactly. Everybody grinding, man. <laughs> all right. Well, um, we appreciate everybody listening to our show. You can reach uh, Keith at KG Skins 26. His DMs Shout are out. always open to hate. No, nah, don't even do it in DMs. Do it out in the public. I want, <laughs> I want, I want everybody to see it. And I want everybody. To see it. I love it. Keep talking Keep talking Yeah. And I want, yeah, I, I want that smoke. I want that smoke. Damn right, right, you want that smoke. I grew with this smoke. Bring it. <laughs>
come to the red zone lot. I mean, I don't, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be alive by the time you get there, but come to the red zone lot, bitch. Take a number. Oh man. I love it. Um, I love it. All right. Uh, that's all I got. Jesse. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks again for another great episode. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. You uh, reached me at uh, Jesse's 24, or you can uh, hit up the uh, Bergie blog or no Bergie blog. What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> bleeding bleeding berg podcast on twitter check us out on youtube as well we are on all platforms and uh we'll see and we're you. definitely not the dentist not the dentist burgundy the blog it's a in bad joke okay. carry on all right <laughs> hail to the team